Hello, welcome to this uh, uh, book club video. Uh, her new books, Dilly Cork and Dilly Cork. My mum saw this one, and I seen that one that was um, for the twelfth of October, which I think has gone. So um, I get notifications for Dilly Cork um, latest novels. So let's have a take a look. I know a lot of you like Dilly Cork and the books. Um, I'm sorry to say the time time is cut. It says finished. Um, it went up to ninety um, issue thirty four. Um, that's all it went up to. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna write them all out on all in all in order. And be fussy like that. I'm afraid if I had to play some a big place, I'd do it all different. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, yeah. So let's look into these lovely beautiful books she's local for me and, and um, let's take a chill out day today um no so you can show things now so they are on amazon um yeah right on amazon uh that one this one here um the symbol for that's just come out because i pre-ordered it um the number um one Sunday times better. This is the one my mum saw but I saw it anyway. And I I bet Amazon think I got a big library or something. Like, like, do they know? Um so it's um let's see what year this is. Um do you call it Sunday Times Bestseller? Of 35 novels, she grew up in North East London and began her career in television. That's interesting. Writing scripts for commercial. She is married with two grown up children, God child, and now lives in Dorset on the beautiful Jurassic Coast with her husband. I think I was thinking of someone else. I don't know. Perhaps she's moved. Anyway, um, to find out about more Dilly, please visit her website and her Facebook page. Um, which I'm not on. So, so it's a um, interesting. Um, standing on the linden royal Victoria Duck, with the wind biting through her shawl, Rosamond Day, okay, realised she'd been abandoned by her sweetheart. Oh, the typical that, isn't it? Anyway, Rose had risked everything to go to London, but stumbling through. The piece of fog that she now nowhere to go and nowhere to turn. Hmm. Scared and lowly, Rose steps straight and danger, only to be rescued by two women with ever less to their name. Hmm. Woman of the night and her young sidekick Sparrow, left with only a cluster and love letters and all hope of her sweetheart returning fading. Yeah. Rose finds herself forgiving her a new life with her alike companions, but when a good deed turns sour, a dangerous enemy threatens to ruin them all. We will be able to save her new friends and her future if she can. A Christmas gift awaits there will change her life forever. Hmm. That was, I can't remember, it's not much, I think it's about six ninety nine. It went right down to four ninety nine, I think, because there's a big sale. So, if, um, I bet, if they are my mum's box, I buy a lot for her, because, um, she's not got what we got. Um, yeah. So I do it for her. So, this is interesting. Uh, it's a symbol for Christmas. Hmm. Number one Sunday Times Speller. Speller. Says that on the same number. The Sunday Times t 10 bestseller. So that was the Christmas Rose one. And this one, the. Because it's got it at the top here. And then it's got it here in the middle, as you can see. Look. So um, it says here, there. Right. So. um. Says the Sunday time is top bad spat seller. So that's recent. So this is number one. So it must be good. 
Oh, that's probably all good, but it's got um, uh, cotton here, and it's like one of them, what you use for sewing. She ran along the snow, covered couples, gripping her sewing box right in her hands. She'd been interested for a sewers. And this living hand to mouth ever since her mother tried it death and really sells the last of her treasures possession to avoid being cast out of her home onto the London Street. Her extravagant god grandfather, especially Beakers, a small struggling factory making morning dresses and only dares to dream. Drawing sketches to, by candlelight, she longed to sew elegant gowns from fine silk and beautiful ribbons for the rich. Mm. A cold winter wind begins to bite. Emily's future hangs by a thread. Can she keep her hope alive? Depending. That's in my nice book. So, mm -hmm. Um, stuff and here's all her books that she's written and I love the smell of new books my new granddaughter, great grandson Riley Muggerid interesting so this was uh, London December 1875 mm. yeah it's very interesting especially I like things like that yeah so yeah it's in both for Christmas I wouldn't mind one of them, so she, that's all she wanted, probably. And all she wanted was a symbol for Christmas. Very nice. And uh, I find them kind of irritating, those symbols, but that's my view. <laughs> anyway, so, um, well, it's my, that's me done. So, um, I'm going away a little bit, uh, just going to end on the end. Um, this celebrating my 60th with my mum and dad because um, a lot of my friends passed away so um, I just want to hopefully they are watching me celebrate my birthday with mum and dad um, mum and dad are a bit o older than, us, uh, than the average mum and dad so um, my auntie's not well she's got covid so she can't come but she wanted to but she, I'll probably see her again in the, in in, in the, later in the year. But uh, I I did have it. Um, I was in bed for three weeks. Uh, it's not a pleasant disease. So um, I want to wish everybody <laughs> keep safe and keep healthy uh, and stay healthy. Um keep going because the human race is not brilliant and it's not very nice towards people that are different or have a different disability um but i do all this and i i raise above it and that's what you should do i do, i um haven't got any other issues but it feels like people have got physical dis disability. We've been left out. We've been all left out with a shield. Um, it's, it's actually uh, destroying me. Um, that they haven't come forward. Um, no one's come forward. They completely forgot people that shield. I hope you haven't forgotten me. Cause um, it's it it changes you. It changed me. I'm not the same person as I was, and they forget people like me, and they all they do is talk about him in health. Oh about people like me and other people that shield or 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 don't we exist
Yeah, they, they ignored me. That is fine. That is fine. Uh, but if you do ignore me on a political scale, I could destroy both of you. The Labour Party and the Conservative. The Labour Party is actually my opposition and they did not bother about shield shielding. Not one of them did. How could you ignore your opposition? You tried to um, convince me to vote for you, but I will not. I will not. You've actually ruined yourselves, to be fair. You've actually, you've actually ignored me, to, to be fair, Parliament have. I hope you're happy with yourself. And the last, when I was ill, and I've had a, I've got a head injury. I see why I was shielding because when I had the, that COVID, it was pressing on my head. I asked the NHS for help, and they totally blanked me. I asked Lambert to check me over. They totally ignored me. Um. What kind of monsters are you all? You know, all this keeps me going. I love doing my videos, but there's things behind the scene that people don't know what's happening to a person that was shielding. It felt like I lost everything again through my head injury. I lost everything. You lose the whole lot. And then you go through shielding and my government can't be bothered to listen to me. So I should be part of the COVID inquiry, you know, and the opposition of Keir Skarma. Where were you? When you're supposed to be attracting people like me to vote for you, but you will not be getting my vote. I'm sorry, you were not. <laughs> yeah, but it's like, ask, I even asked help for country Labour Party help. They didn't want to know because I've not got a family. So what I was shielding. I didn't break the law. In fact, I couldn't, I could have, but I didn't. So I hope you're all very happy with yourselves because you don't deserve to be in power neither Conservative or the, or the Labour Party because you're a load of crap and I will say it because I don't care if this video gets taken down but I'm just voicing my opinion and I have been left behind. If stars can do this and say what they feel and how they're doing it I'm a normal person and I will say it. You left me to write NHS. I've asked for your help to come out. I've never don't pester them at all. I'm, I'm not one of these that will pester them. Um, so I was in bed for three weeks. I couldn't even get out of bed. But you're kind of happy to help people that, oh, that, that, that are super stupid stars and, and they're so grateful to you, are they? Well, leave in the real world, would you? And don't bother sending me any texts from any more COVID jabs because I know what's in it. I'm going to destroy people that really have to be destroyed. Because at the end of the day, I don't do videos like this. But it's beginning to get to me when they say, Oh, you, you, they seem to target one pe pe person. And then they don't target, and they don't ask, Oh, uh... What about the people that shield? One day you will know about something else, but I'm telling you now, the world will not last long. And I'd love to know how you're going to cope with that. I don't like the NHS, and I've, been, I've said it many of times, I, I hate it. It's a joke. 
I just hope you're very happy with yourselves. There was only one that was really um, talk radio back in the day, and Mike Graham was on. And there's a lady from Kenora, she rang up. I said, I'll, I'll take it. I said, no. Because to see my parents, I said, no, I'm shielding. I couldn't put her at risk or anyone else at risk. I don't care. I don't care what anymore. Really, what you put in my leg, I don't know. Because I've never had anything on my legs, to be fair. Maybe, you know, one nurse said, are you diabetic? I says, she said, can I have legs? I said, yeah, they're pretty, aren't they? <laughs> she said, are you sure you're diabetic? I said, well, what, what does one want look like, to be fair? I didn't want to do this video, but what I'm watching lately, and I feel like I've been left behind. You, you all think it's hilarious, don't you, Parliament? Good luck to you on 2024, because you're not getting anywhere. If you like this little video, uh, like, share, subscribe, and I really thanks for your support see how this goes hmm.